created an enrollment schema right, that um, is going to keep track of uh, foreign keys that is going to create an association right, between these two entities, students and sections. Right? So I'm going to create, you know, we're going to be storing in the database uh, these enrollments. Yes. Yes, source, sure. Um, yeah, so here we, we have, we, earlier we had created two schemas, right? We had created the user schema and we had created the section schema. Uh, and notice that they are entirely made up of uh, primitive data types, right? Name, seats, course, uh, and the users also just has primitive data types. And we also created models from, for, for both of them. Right? And when we create a, when we created the model, we used Mongo's, Mongo's model to create the user model, and we did the same thing for the section. Right? We created the um, the section model. When we created the model, we gave them unique identifiers right? for both of them, right? for the section and for the model, for the user model, user model and section model. And as if you remember, I said that uh, those need to be unique within the Mongo's instance when you when you when you create the mon mongoose uh, when you instantiate mongoose or you load it and re require into your application you need to be able, you, you need to register these um, uh, these models with mongoose this is the equivalent in um, in JPA uh, when you when you create your repositories uh, you give it the class Right, uh, you give it the class, and then you give it the primary key to create your CRUD repository. Now, classes in Java they are unique. Right, there's only one class with that particular name, that particular package name. Right, uh, so so in that sense, they are unique. Here, uh, we are enforcing uniqueness just just by convention that this string uh, is uh, is is unique across the the Mongoose uh, uh, entity uh, instance. Uh, now, what we're doing here is that we're creating an enrollment. This enrollment, uh, other, other than these three data types, other, other than these three uh, input uh, uh, fields, uh, it just, it's just like all the other ones, right? Just like the section, like the user. Uh, these are just three primitive data types. But in addition, we are, we're going to have two additional fields whose value, right, these values, uh, are just going to be these values here. If you, if you go to Mongo, are just going to have these values. See that? Those, that's the value that we want to store. For instance, for section, for this section, that's the value I want, right? Or for the for the um, uh, give control. No, stop. Wait, what? I don't want to give control. <laughs> uh, or, or for the for the students, you know, for the for the students, right? It will be these IDs. Right, these IDs that are type object ID. See that? So in effect, those values that we're going to be storing for student and section are going to be foreign keys. We're going to treat them as foreign keys, right? Which is going to allow us to not only keep track of the values, but then do things such as join, even though we don't have joins in Mongo. Uh, we want to be able to retrieve the objects that we are uh, associated with, okay? So that's that's what this allows us to do, right? Uh, now here I've added a collections enrollments. That means that I want to store these documents, right? Whenever we create an enrollment, I want to store it in a collection called enrollments. Notice that 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 collection does not exist. We say show collections. Notice that we only have sections and users. There is there is no enrollments uh, collection, right? So Mongo is going to create it for us whenever we insert a new. Uh, a new enrollment. Okay. That that answer your question. Is that? Are we good? Okay. 